We can say a lot of words, but you need to be that, that people who, who dare or who expect them for waiting for families. Only those people can, can know how it feels. San Diegans whose loved ones fled Ukraine are now waiting to be reunited with them here. Many are continuing to arrive at the U.S.-Mexico border. ABC 10 News reporter Sofia Hernandez spoke with two men today who made this journey to San Diego. Sofia is live for us and it's been a long process for these guys. Yeah, Derek, it's been almost a week since I first met Vitaly and Bugdan, who traveled from Chicago to Mexico to meet Vitaly's mother and Bugdan's daughter, who were living in Ukraine. Now, Thursday, both Vitaly and Bugdan were able to cross the border, but their loved ones were taken to a detention center. Today, one of them got a very important phone call. Vitaly and his friend Bugdan were hoping to bring their loved ones to San Diego Thursday. Instead, they're just glad they are at the border. She already in safe place. So that's I can wait. And that's exactly what they did. Six days with no word from ICE or CBP. It was so, so scary because I, I don't know what's going on right now. The two spending days just waiting for a call. Oh. And they finally got one. Bugdan reunited Wednesday with his daughter, who is seven months pregnant. <laughs> that, that's like he's another birthday for him to see her. While Bugdan is relieved one family member is safe, he has other worries. His wife is still in Ukraine, now stuck in a basement as her city is occupied by Russian forces. That is a huge problem for him. He, he trying to say it's only God in, in, in God's hands to, to save her life. He doesn't know if he will ever see her again. And these two aren't the only ones in this situation. If somebody has a family member here, the goal is if they're detained, they'll be released eventually and the process to legalize them in inside the United States through a court. Jacob Saposhnik's office getting just 20 calls this week, either from those in Europe trying to see how they can come here or others who are here and don't know what to do. There's no clear policy as to how they vet these people and why one family or one person gets asylum or gets in here um, and the other person is sent back, right? It's still very up in the air. Saposhnik says stories like Vitaly's and Bugdan's give others hope, which is why he believes there are hundreds more who will also try to find freedom in the states, no matter how long it takes. Saposhnik says those that are able to come through either know someone who is a U.S. citizen or a green card holder, they are able to get detained, then released, and then they go through the court system for removal. Everyone else must seek asylum. Reporting live in San Isidro, Sofia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. So tough for so many families. Thank you, Sofia.